So Heidi Montag and Spencer Pratt uh, have been doing interviews, and one of the interviews that they did was on the Today Show with Al Roker, and it's fabulous. All right, here's the situation. Uh, we're going to see a little uh, piece that they put together uh, about their appearance on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, and then we're going to see Al Roker's interview with Heidi and Spencer. I care about that interview because Al Roker's going to challenge them, and I want to find out, are these guys for real or not? So let's watch. Jungle on NBC's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. We're going to speak to them in just a moment, but first, here's NBC's Lee Cowan. Even in a Costa Rican jungle, publicity has a price. And in Spencer Pratt's case, it's the villain that has value. I want to go back to the hills. The hills is where he made a career of the obnoxious. Who's talking to you is what I want to know. But his performance on NBC's I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. I'm too rich, I'm too famous, and I'm out of here. Was considered so outrageous, it even got a nickname. Spencing out. These people are nothing. They're a bunch of amateurs to me. He was topped only by his wife and Hill's co star, Heidi. My goal is to be, you know, a true disciple of Jesus, a Mother Teresa. Together, Spidey played the role of the newlywed nuisance. They claimed they were tortured, that producers lied to them, and they threatened to quit repeatedly. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Everyone is just being so mean and. It completely took off all my labels and everything on my dry shampoo. And it made for train wreck television. But for fellow contestants, it all seemed a bit over the top. Every other second was about, I'm a billionaire. This is my billionaire brand. Oh, look at me. That's, that's Heidi. My, yes, look at my hot wife. I'm better than you all. Some think their rants were a smart ploy for ratings. But others fear they were genuine. What you see of them, I, I think I know on this show, is completely 100% honest. It's yes. not an act. It's not an act. There's no downtime. They really do believe they are the most famous people on this planet, and that that's something that one should aspire to. Yes, and that they pray to Jesus for it. Jesus! Oh, come on. Yeah, you hear us? They were only on the show one week. She's about to grow up. I think I'm going to throw up again. Before Heidi took ill and had to be rushed to the hospital. But they still got more press than anyone. Heidi's about to get more in the September issue of Playboy. So, was their attitude career savvy or suicide? Their fans will decide. For today, Lee Cowan, NBC News, Los Angeles. Heidi and Spencer Pat, good, Pratt, good morning. Good morning. Now, now, there are those who say that you guys are the poster children for everything that's wrong with celebrity in this country. How, how, how do you I think that? that was just Paul Kalegdi that said that mm -hmm. from NBC. And, well, what's, well, I mean, you, when you look at this stuff uh, that uh, you have on this tape, it, do, do you have any regrets about doing what you do? I was actually going to ask your producers to get a copy of that little highlight reel because mm -hmm. that was one of my favorite things I've ever watched. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> Absolutely. <sighs> When you when you decide to do this and you're, you're screaming at people, and it, is this just an act or is this who you really are? Well, I'm not an actor, so I guess. I well, there, although there are those who say the hills was somewhat scripted, even though it's reality. I mean, this is you, you want to be the villain. Oh no, I I, I didn't. No, no, that. you said that for the competitive show, like you know, not in life. I want to hmm. be the hero. Then, but in a show that has a competition. But when you act like that, how do you expect people to think of you as a hero? No, but on that show, I'm the mm -hmm. villain. Mm -hmm. in, in life, I want to be a hero. Uh -huh. On a television show that has a, a one winner, like a champion, right. like a competitive show, that's the show I would choose to be the villain or the bad guy, because the bad guy is you know, the hardest part to, to understand in a, in a competition. Hi, Heidi, are you, are you proud of, of all of this? Uh, um, it was a very hard situation. I think when you go to the jungle... No, the answer, are you proud of this? Am I proud of, of what? You, what? You, the way you guys behaved in this program. Um, I mean, I'm not ashamed. Mm -hmm. I don't think are you anything proud of was it? wrong with it. Um, sure. I mean, I think that, you know, I got sick and we had to leave, but we had fun in the jungle, too, and those mm -hmm. were a couple moments that were very intense and, you know, build-ups, and it didn't show everything that happened in those events, but... You know, we just went there to win and have fun and... You guys um, claimed that you were tortured during this. No, we no, never claimed no, that. Yes, you did. You no. claimed you oh, were tortured. We never and your we sister, never, your sister put claims out. Your so my sister. sister. Uh -huh. Who I don't put, speak with. You don't speak with. So she just Sometimes. put that... Like on an episode or two, maybe I speak with her. 
<laughs> so you go from not speaking to her, you spoke to her a couple of times, but the fact is she put out that, that there was, there was in, torture. My sister doesn't speak for me, so mm -hmm. I never put out anything, nor did my wife yeah. ever say there was torture. Right. If my sister wants to quote from NBC, who said there was going to be three days of torture, that she was just repeating that they said the people.com, mm -hmm. which she then Twittered, you know, you can call that whatever you like, but no, we never said NBC torture. Yeah. Yeah. And you describe yourself as, as uh, yourself as a new Christian. You were, you were baptized by uh, by uh, Stephen Baldwin in the water. Uh, is, was that part of a ploy, or is that uh, uh, absolutely real? not? Stephen was just such an amazing energy and force I'd ever been around, and I just I felt uh, the love. You know, I'd never been around somebody who just like just. He has so much love around him. I was like, whatever you are doing, mm -hmm. I want to be part of it. And he said that was Jesus. But so. the, this, this behavior, do you, I mean, this is not going to continue once now that you're <laughs> off the show, is it? I mean, are you going to, I mean, there are, you say villain. Some people say jerk. I mean, tomato, tomato. Mm -hmm. is, are, and this is something you want to continue. What are you going to do with the, the I, I live, what's next for you guys? We live in the moment. Like next is you know maybe walking to there. I, I don't. You know, no, you're going to have to walk to that's, there. That's, you're, you're, you're done now. So maybe I'll go that way. That's uh -huh. my point. So I don't. I don't think okay, that, that far in advance. Well, you can watch. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here Monday through Thursday, eight o'clock Central. Man, Al was not having spicy mm -mm. or Spidey or whatever the fuck they are, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, he's uh, he goes after him, and then afterwards he tw uh, tweeted it out, mm -hmm. and he sent out this uh, tweet. Heidi and Spencer are an interesting couple, famous for being infamous. Uh, bad and vacuous behavior. I think we're at minute 11 of their 15. So he's like, no, we're not at minute 15, but we're at 11. We're going to have to bear with this for a little while, and then we'll be done. Uh, and apparently Heidi and Spencer were enraged by Al Roker and oh, what he really? did. Yes, and they put out a press release saying, uh, or they talked to some others. One was on the radio uh, here, I believe, with Ryan Seacrest. Here's what uh, Spencer said. Was the weatherman asking us questions? I thought we were getting interviewed by a guy named Matt Lauer. We were thrown off that that the we were thrown off that the weatherman was even trying to talk to Spidey. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, man. I love that. That's so funny. <laughs> no, no, but look. was the weatherman asking us questions? The weatherman? Do they not realize we're Spidey? <laughs> yeah, but the weatherman has accomplished a lot more than you have. You know, <laughs> like you haven't accomplished shit. Of course, of so, course. It's All right, so no, no, you think that's bad? Heidi made it much worse. Here we go. Heidi says, "I was shocked at how rude he was." Again, talking to Seacrest, I was crying afterwards because I felt personally attacked because he was yelling and saying, "Do you feel proud of this?" First of all, he wasn't yelling or screaming. Second of all, you cried after that. And I, look, we're going to have to convene the TYT Supreme Court because I, is it an act or not? I'm now a little confused. Okay, uh, we'll get to that in a second. It, there's more. Uh, Heidi continues. I felt like saying, "Do you feel proud of what you're saying to us?" I'm a young woman, and you're coming at me so mean spirited. It gets worse. We were going there for a great interview. I just wanted to talk about the show and my experience there and how fun it was. He just made it uncomfortable and an awful experience. To be honest, I wouldn't be interviewed by him again, and I'd advise women to be careful around him because I feel like he definitely attacked me, and I didn't deserve that at all. That's of oh, that's yeah. so Sarah Palin. I, I that's funny. That's true, but it's also so Heidi Montag to mm -hmm. take it over a top you didn't expect. Right. What young women should be careful around Al Roker, please. No, that just goes to show you, you guys are colossal dicks to say that about Al Roker, who asked what I thought were very calm questions. You yeah. want to come on this show? You want to get real questions? Well, I'll make you cry. <laughs> okay, I mean, if that made you cry, wait till you get a load of us. So, mm -hmm. look, I, I don't, look, I oh, had always assumed that they were super fake, that they were, that this was all an act, right? But I'm now beginning to think, based on what the uh, other quote-unquote celebrities said in that reality show, that they might actually believe this stuff. They might actually be mental and think that they're really the biggest people on earth. I think that that's true. But on the other hand, they seem to be living it so much that you begin to think there's some chance that they are the world's dumbest people. It's because if they're if it's an act, then they're savvy, they're smart, right? right? They're grabbing attention any way they can. They're trying to make money off of it. You might not like it, but it's a little savvy. But if they actually believe they're like the most famous people on earth, right? 
and that the weatherman can't ask spidey questions? <laughs> I don't know, man. That's crazy. That's cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I think